Dr. Kitty Mohan, you're the president of the European Junior Doctors Association. What does Brexit mean for the medical workforce? I think that Brexit has a lot of connotations of fear for the medical workforce really we know that many ju many junior doctors and senior doctors come to work in the UK we know that this is actually something that's very desirable we know that there are lots of opportunities for people to come and actually that freedom of movement across the across Europe in order to learn skills and develop doctors is fundamentally of, of the utmost importance why do doctors choose the UK a variety of reasons. Um, I think language is very important. Um, I think our high class research um, and the collaborations that can be undertaken across the world at our institutions and also our training and our health system. We know that um, doctors choose to come to learn um, skills within our postgraduate training system um, and that this is something that's desirable in order to continue that lifelong learning that people um, have across their careers as a doctor. Who are these doctors? The surveys that have been undertaken by the British Medical Association show that there is a wide range of doctors who are working in the UK. Um, we know that actually over two thirds of doctors who responded to the BMA survey are um, very established doctors. They are specialists and general practitioners. 25% um, of doctors have been in the UK for more than 20 years practicing. And that's fundamentally important. The, these aren't doctors who moved over in the last couple of years or who are part of a mobile population. Many are very very established and have lives in the United Kingdom. And what are their principal concerns when they look at this process? Are they planning to leave or are they planning to apply for to become permanent residents? Do doctors are telling us that they're planning to leave, um, that they the uncertainty, the level of um, really not knowing um, what lives they and their families will be able to have, the p possible visa constraints, all of these are factors that are really making doctors vote with their feet really and actually move and make plans to move abroad. And that's really worrying because we know that the UK health system relies on these doctors to have roles within um, the NHS. And so if the doctors leave, then um, it, th there are potential connotations for how this is going to affect health and therefore affect patients in the UK. But I imagine you're very reassured by that 350 million per week that's coming in. <laughs> yes, so we wait, we wait for that, but there's, there's lots that can be done with that money in the future, so we look forward to that, yes. <laughs>